recall you as a child must have wondered about many questions about the nature. And one such question may have been, why is the sky blue? Perhaps many of us thought, as the oceans are blue, so light reflects from oceans and the sky appears blue. This deceiving answer to be right until we were in high school and learned the Rayleigh scattering. Our sun emits white light, which consists of all seven colors we see in a rainbow. Each particular color of light has a frequency and wavelength associated to it. For example, the red light has the lowest frequency and longest wavelength, whereas violet light has the shortest wavelength and highest frequency in the visible spectrum. All of these light are scattered in the upper atmosphere by gases like nitrogen and oxygen. According to Rayleigh's law, the scattering of each color of light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of wavelength corresponding to the light. Or simply, shorter the wavelength, more is the scattering. But there is a certain condition for Rayleigh scattering to occur. The gas molecules must be at least few hundred nanometers apart for the scattering to be successful. This is why Rayleigh scattering only occurs in the upper atmosphere where the air is least dense. In lower atmosphere, the gas molecules are barely 3 to 4 nanometers apart, resulting in destructive interference of scattered light. Wait, this isn't the whole story. Rayleigh scattering still doesn't justify why is the sky blue? In fact, violet light has shorter wavelength than blue light. So why isn't the sky violet instead? The two obvious reasons for this are, firstly, violet light is very minimum in the visible spectrum compared to blue light. Secondly, human eyes are simply more sensitive to blue color. So yeah, there is still some violet hidden that you and I cannot detect. Found this video interesting? Give it a thumbs up, subscribe us and hit the bell icon to get notified about our future videos. We are also in other social media platforms, links in the description.